Hi guys, my name is Alex. In this tutorial I'm going to try to explain to you how I created this architectural molding uh, with splines and sweep uh, <coughs> modifier uh, which is great because you always uh, keep the control of your mold by just uh, changing the values of your curve that you created as a spline. So, so let's get started. I'm going to to uh, show some different different subjects while creating walls. For example, you could uh, use AEC extended and wall and just snap to the grid lines and grid uh, grid points by pressing S on the keyboard or snap toggle on and selecting grid and grid lines but I don't uh, normally do that because I don't know I just like uh, creating walls with splines let me show you what I mean it's the same thing as before I have the snap toggle on uh, and I just draw out uh, something I want and if I have to go lower than um, than the window shows I just press I on the keyboard and it will snap down and if you want to go up and again and when we touch the first vertex it uh, ask us if we want to close the spline yes we want to close the spline right click G on the keyboard to make the to make the grid go away and S to make to turn off snap to blue so now we just go here and under rendering enable in render and enable in viewport and for default it starts with the radio but you just click rectangular and you can set the width of your wall uh, the length is not really important because we're going to set it uh, uh, afterwards but for the width of the wall I'm going to go 20 centimeters for example and I just right click on it and convert it to editable poly now I go to selection and click here by angle 45 degrees and when you select one uh, polygon it selects all that are in 40 45 degrees um, angle just maybe to show it more yeah no it was also select this one I don't know why but I it's a quick way to select uh, polygons that are on the same plane now we can just pull them up and we have our walls uh, set up then we can make a swift loop inside to make a base for our for our molding and after we go to edge selection it's automatically selected and we just click here on create from selection and make sure you have linear selected and click OK and then just we still are in edge selection we'll control backspace I think yeah and it will delete the swift loop that we created now I'm going to uh, hide the wall for a moment and now we, as we can still see it's editable spline because it took the settings from before when we are creating the wall and this is our base for our molding and we're going to go to the front view and we are going to create a shape for our molding I'm not going to go into details I'm just going to create some uh, points and make sure you close the spline and I'm going to select different colors so it's easily seen and now back to this one 
if you don't know if you have selected the spline because the spline won't show if it's selected just press J on the keyboard to make this this stuff uh, visible and now we are going to apply sweep modifier to it and as the as default setting it will pick a built-in scene this L uh, mold but we're going to use custom selection and we're going to click on pick and we're going to select our own mold uh, spline and if we unhide all we can see now we have our molds uh, created now sometimes it's uh, it's mirrored like this and if you want to see it uh, the right way just play with these settings and you're going to get what you created well the wall is kinda uh, make it, it impossible to see what I created so this is it when creating and then just we can play with settings like these are the default settings and sometimes we want to push it up a little bit and as we can see it's going into the wall uh, quite quite a few inches so we are going to push it out in the x value and we can also turn it a little bit if we want but I don't, I don't normally use that so the great thing about this is we can change uh, how the, is this spline looks like and it will automatically update with the, with the mold that we created so if we want to change this as we can see here it just, it just uh, shows up exactly what we made change so if we right click on the vertex we can select uh, how the vertex should, should uh, react it can be a busier corner busier corner or smooth so if we have a busier corner we just move it a little bit in both directions Z and X and we can we can do some changes with it smooth and uh, back to this spline you can also play with uh, these settings but I normally use them on but I think this is pretty much it what I wanted to show in this tutorial how to create an architectural molding using editable splines and sweep modifier so this is it from me subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed yet uh, if you like this video do share it with your friends like it comment it and till next time bye